so this is this is where we're staying next two nights hard days night hotel liverpool so bleak's restaurant is through this way we're having food here tomorrow night this is in here oh is it Yeah, Peter Blake and the Sergeant Pepper. It was the only two singers on the cover of Sergeant Pepper, yeah. apart from the Beatles? Dylan. Dylan. Who's uh, the other one? Elvis. No, 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 no. Come on, who's one no, of our favourites from New York, Bronx? Gee, um, Dion. 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 The new Dylan was there. Oh, well done, 50%. Well done. Do you want to see where it is? All these pictures are all represented on the cover of the Sergeant Pepper's album. This is Blake's restaurant. And Blake was the designer of the Sergeant Pepper album cover. One of our favourites, Dion. And there's one of our townsfolk there. Dylan Thomas. Dylan Thomas. I wanted to look at the turkey. Okay. I designed Penny. If you repeat this box here, you can borrow while you're having a drink in the bar. Uh, a little uh, fix with them later. So we walk back, walk back up to the room, or walk back up the stairs. Two box jury live from Liverpool yeah. Empire, December seventh, nineteen sixty-three. Yeah. Is David Jacobs? Is it, oh, it's not going to focus, is it? Oh, there you go. Two box jury. Two hit or miss was the theme tune, wasn't it? Two box jury. Yeah. What was it was called, yeah. Yeah. Panel of four people would listen to the new releases and decide whether it'd be a hit or a miss. That show the Beatles were all four panel members. Oh, these are the songs. The ten singles the Beatles judged. I think there was an Elvis song on there somewhere. Or oh, at the top. Kiss me quick. Not the Best Elvis song by any means, but it was a top 20. And I thought there was a Billy Fury one as well, but I can't see. Oh yeah, it's at the top, Billy Fury. Do you really love me too? Again, I kiss me quick, that was a top 20, I think. I think Billy Fury's number 13, kiss me quick, number 14. I think of you, the Mersey Beats, that was a top 10. As was Hippie Hippie Shake, Swinging Blue Jeans. Paul Anker, that one flopped, as did Shirley Ellis. Great song, that. <laughs> yeah, you chilled? Let's have a look at this bit of stairwell. Theme on this one is Beatles in Liverpool. Or George and Ringo, on for Speak Airport. Going out there tomorrow morning, I think, if we can. Again, Speak Airport. Not sure how many floors there are here actually. Goes up fairways yet. In our room, this is the room we've got. There's a picture of a young John Winston Lennon on the on the wall there, and this is room 103. John says, that contrary to earlier accounts, research has shown John was not born during a World War II air raid. 
However, he was named John Winston Lennon after Britain's wartime leader, only to later renounce his middle moniker. John, aged two and a half, moved in with his aunt Mimi and uncle George. John continued to live with Mimi, but was close to his mum, who taught him to play the banjo. Much of John's later pain and insecurity can be traced to his troublesome childhood and his mother's premature death in a road accident. This is the bathroom. Nice handy shelf to put your stuff. Shampoo conditioner, a of uh, John Lennon glasses on there. Bathroom, the retro microphone, and body knock with earphones for sure and softness. Okay, there you go, Hard Days Night Hotel soap. So then, Sean's probably just going to take them and souvenirs rather than use them. Well, we are going to, we've got our own stuff, we are going to wash. Big wardrobe. Safe finding board, hairdresser, hair as we say, hair dryer, tea and coffee. A fair, fair size safe. Plenty of cupboard space, thought there might be a fridge in one of these actually. No, no. I thought there might have been a fridge. Plenty of storage space we have for two nights, so I don't think we'll need all that space. Room service. Booked, friend, you were uh, to all the best places to eat and visit, I guess, in Liverpool. I already got an idea where we're going, so we don't need that. No USB points, though, is there? few power points but no USB points. No people like the USB points, we haven't got any. We're looking out onto Matthew Street where the cavern is, the windows outside are a bit dirty so I'm not sure how clear this will be but there's the statue of John Lennon down against the wall so the cavern is just uh, just below us a bit further down on the right. Or the, the reimagined cabin, uh, cavern. Anyway. So in Blake's side along with this, what's it? Grilled asparagus, poached egg and hollandaise sauce. What's yours called? It's um, goat's cheese with olive oil and tomatoes, as you can see. Mm. Nice. So what's yours called? Like, what it's was it called? feathered beef. Feathered beef. Cauliflower cheese. Potato stack. Carrots, feather tail carrots, with the red wine juice. It looks very nice, actually, the beef, doesn't it? Okay, look, there's, there's three slices, as you can see. I mean, I would just normally have the coffee flat with cheese. <laughs> and I got chicken supreme with a Merlot sauce. Yeah. And chicken, and potato Broccoli. stack, and mocha. We've got canals and carrots to start with. So, any other, what was this bar called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half up. And that wasn't me. So we've come in for a free strawberry field strawberry fields cocktail. Free. <laughs> you don't know what's in that. Tart, but tart. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting 
on this moment to arise. You were only waiting for this moment to arise.